Welcome to How To Pam. Let's talk Linux, the channel that promotes professional computing with free open source software, and we're helping FOSS users find the answers. Okay, for all you Libricad users out there, today we have a real treat for you. Today we're going to show you how to get the latest version of Libricad on your PC. You'll see here that you can tell this version of Libricad is 2.1.3. That's an older version of Libricad. You can see it was compiled on May 16th of 2019. Okay, there are new versions of Libricad available and we're going to show you how to get them installed on your PC. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you can check out the version that's available in your system's repository. So you go to your system's repository, either through the store or through your terminal window here, and you'll see that Libricad here is listed in my system. And if we go then and ask apt cache to show, about Libricad. There we go. Okay. So here we have the Libricad package and it's telling us here that we have available 21312 version. That is a few years old now. Okay. So let's put away the terminal window here and let's show you how to get the updated version. The first thing you're going to want to do is get on a web browser here and go to the Libricad home page. From the Libricad home page, go to the download page and that will bring you over here. Okay, in the downloads, you can see that we have downloads for Linux and it's suggesting that you use your distributions launchpad PPAs. Okay, but that's only going to get you the older version as we just saw. And here's for Windows and here's for Mac. And here is for building from source. And I'll show you how to build from source to get the latest. But for now, we're going to show you that what you really want to do. When you go down, scroll down the download page, when you get to Linux here, you'll see there's not much here except for the Launchpad PPA. You don't want that. I mean, that would give you the package that's available at your distribution, and it's probably an older package. So let's just move over to under the windows here and click on the GitHub. Let's go to GitHub. Now, when we get to GitHub, you can see we have continuous builds here. And here's the release candidate number three. So if we take, here's number two, an older one. These are the release candidates. So we could go to any of these this is a continuous build up to date and you can see here that it has an app image and it has source code packages if we backed up here we went to release candidate number three you can see there's more packages available here is the windows package if you're running a windows pc here is the linux okay an app image for linux here and Here's a Mac package. And again, here's the source code. So this is an app image that was released, but it's not the latest. The latest package, as you see here, is the continuous build package. If we click there, we go right here. And the latest Linux is the 220RC3, but it's had some daily commits to it. So if you go ahead and click on this, app image it will begin to download so go ahead and download that app image then you will go into where you kept your app image here I will go to downloads and let's just write LS to check that and here is the app image right here if I go ahead and use the administrative privileges of sudo and I say change mode plus X 
to make this file executable. Okay, make this app image file executable right here. Let's take this file and let's paste it down here. Okay, now we're going to make it executable. Let's pray enter to that. I have to put my password in. Okay, so say ls to that again. And here now you see it has changed color. Okay, it has changed from the white color here to a green color here. Okay, that means it's live now. It's an executable now. So we could go ahead and put a dot and a forward slash and then paste that here in our terminal and click enter. And as you see, if I move this terminal out of the way, here is your app image up and running. And there is the latest version of LibriCAD on your Linux PC. 220RC321. Okay, that is the latest version. It's as simple as that. If you like, you can create a desktop launcher to that app image file. And if we go here and see that our app image was in downloads, it's right here. Okay, there is the app image right there. I might want to highlight that and rename that something simpler okay so I'll just take a bunch of these numbers out of here let's leave it as LibriCAD 2 just something simple let's rename that there it is there okay now click on your desktop here and say create a launcher okay and if I call it LibriCAD okay and I make a comment maybe newest version of LibriCAD okay now the command is going to be the absolute which is home downloads this here that we've renamed it to so and and it's case sensitive so l libricad dash two dot capital a capital i okay that will be the command now we could give it an icon by clicking on this here and we could go to here and put all icons and then we could go CAD see what we get here's some CAD okay we take an icon this one's purple okay and let's create that now you can see it created LibriCAD down here so let's go ahead and click on that it says market executable and market executable and here we go there you are if we have a look here that is our updated version okay so there we have an app image of LibriCAD up and running and you will no longer be having to use the older version of LibriCAD from your distros repository but I will tell you that Sometimes the older version is more stable. The newest version, with that, you may experience a few bugs of instability. But the little bit of inconvenience you experience by some instability in the program is well worth the upgraded features you receive in the newer program, especially with LibriCAD because its public releases are sometimes a few years in between so go ahead and keep yourself updated with the app images available LibriCAD and you will always be running the latest version okay so thank you for watching this video tutorial by how to Pam let's talk Linux and if you like this video give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel or Join our community on Twitter at HowToPam at Twitter. Thanks for watching another video tutorial by HowToPam. Let's talk Linux.